Gates is talking. That dude with the hoodie still out there? I can't ignore him. He thinks Harlem don't need me. Luke Cage is not a guy who's trying to be a hero. He has powers he didn't ask for. The woman he fell in love with is dead. And he was put in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Guess I can't trust nobody around here. Can I? Jessica Jones. After Jessica Jones, he goes uptown. He just wants to be left alone. Being a hero just puts a target in your back. Harlem is where he's hiding out. He ends up sweeping up here in a barbershop. But he finds Cottonmouth basically running Harlem. Cottonmouth. Cornell Cottonmouth Stokes owns his nightclub, Harlem's Paradise. But that's really a front because he's actually a gun runner. Everybody wants to be the king. Cage didn't want to get involved. What? I'm a freak. No. You're amazing. He's just trying to figure things out. You should be out there helping people. Reaper used to say the same thing. She was right. He just can't stand idly by and let things happen. You want Harlem? I don't want Harlem. I just want you to stop messing with it. If you see a need, and you decide that it's your responsibility to address it, and that's the hero's journey. I guess you guys haven't heard about me. Here, there are no capes. It's just, I'm whooping ass. It's about who he is and, and what he stands for. You know how the wind feels right before a big thunderstorm? Harlem's the same. Trouble smells a certain way. It's a really different vibe, a really different hero. You knock down a few doors in the projects. Now, you Harlem's hero. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Still not sure what I am. I'm just living my life, day to day. You should be out there helping people. You think I asked for any of this? I was put in some tank like an exotic fish came out with abilities. I just want to be left the hell alone. Well, that would be a waste. Harlem, perpetual symbol of hope and prosperity. Too much happens in the shadows. People fear what they can't see. This place is our reputation, our legacy. I'm blind. Hit every business and squeeze them hard. Everybody wants to be the king. Sometimes if you want justice, you have to get it yourself. Wah! Hungry arms. Wah! The hungry arms. Yeah. Us, the money. I don't like your tone. <laughs> you have my word, ma'am. I've got you. Ooh. I'm from a city where having a heart is not suggested. I'm a maverick attacking backs. I'm a savage. I'm cleaning braces with tongue and back. You want to go to war? I'll take you to war. You might be bulletproof. But Harlem ain't. This city is supposed to represent our hopes and dreams. You have to fight for what's right every single day. Why don't you just tell us your name? The whole neighborhood is yapping about how two goons got the beat down last night. I heard it was four guys. <laughs>
Hi, Vale here. So you like superhero movies? Well, I've got an interesting fact on superheroes for you. Did you know that a Batman and Robin are gay theory was created to destroy comics? This one is actually pretty funny. The jokes concerning Batman and his um, questionable relationship with Robin all came from one man's insinuation. That man was Dr. Frederick Wertham, a therapist who was fixated on destroying the comic industry. He claimed that some of his patients were sexually maladjusted individuals because they read comics about Batman, claiming some even expressed romantic feelings for the Dark Knight. I wonder what he will think about my feelings for Wonder Woman. Okay, okay, so what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below and I will leave you with some superhero movie playlists to watch. See you next time.